on our body tonight. I'm gonna to show you how to make a homemade loaded baked potato soup with sauteed venison in a bread bowl made from scratch. All right, the first thing that we wanna do is make our dough for our homemade bread bowl. And we wanna start with two and a half cups of water. Boom. This is supposed to be warm. Hang on. Two and a half cups of water. Oh! Thank you, poor spout on this Pyrex. All right, to that we're gonna add um, two packets of instant yeast. It's about four and a half ounces worth. Uh, we're gonna add a tablespoon of sugar. Just pour it in there. And two tablespoons of olive oil. And then we're gonna start to slowly add um, about half of our flour. And I've got half all-purpose flour and half uh, bread flour in about seven cups worth. We're just gonna let this start to combine before we add the rest of it. All right, hold on. I'm just gonna continue adding the rest of the flour. And the reason that we're mixing the bread flour and the all-purpose flour is because the bread flour is gonna help these bowls to stand up and be tall instead of flat like a pancake. We're gonna take that out after about five minutes and just make it into a nice, neat ball. All right, set your dough into a bowl and we're just gonna let that yeast activate. The dough's gonna to start to rise. We're gonna cover this with a damp cloth and set it aside half hour, 45 minutes until it's basically doubled in size. We'll move on to the next step. All right, so dough rising. We're gonna go ahead and start working on cutting up the ingredients for our potato soup. So you're gonna take six Yukon Gold potatoes and cut those up into some small cubes, um, half inch, three quarter inch, um, nothing too large, because you want those to be able to break down and come apart inside the soup when you start that process. So one thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you cut up your potatoes, as soon as these edges are exposed to oxygen, they're gonna to start to get this color. So one thing that you can do to combat that, since we're doing this process kind of out of order, uh, while that dough rises, is go ahead, fill up a bowl with water, and cover your potatoes in that water, and it's gonna just keep them as golden brown as before they were cut. <laughs> you need a tissue? I'm very emotional. What does the bacon industry have against resealable packaging? Honestly, I need six strips of bacon. I was today years old when I discovered they had non-stick foil. I've been spraying it like an idiot all my life. Except now I can't get it to like grab onto the... Yeah, it is, it is hard to stick on the pan, but it's worth it. Oh, looks like we got a bun in the oven. Oh boy, it got a lot bigger, didn't it? Check it out, Sam. Look at this. Can I see? Yeah. Check it out. Can I eat some? Just kind of mash some of that air out of it, too. So, we're going to cut this dough into six even portions. Those look even? Everybody grab one. We're going to try to work these things into a nice ball, okay? Pull the dough. Pull the dough down towards the bottom. Is it just like slime? Twist it just like that. And then kind of fold it back in on itself so you only have a seam on one part of it. And then roll it around. Okay. So now we're just going to score the top of these things. I'm going to score the top of these things going two directions. We're going to cover these with a damp cloth again. Apparently there's a lot of waiting when you make bread. Um, cover these with a damp cloth uh, another half hour and set them aside. They're gonna double in size again as that yeast continues to work. Then you're gonna have just a nice big bread bowl. And you wanna be big because you're gonna want a lot of potato soup in there. My buns are getting bigger. Take this break in the action. We're gonna go ahead and um, season our venison. I've got about a third to a half a pound of venison cube steak. And just take a little bit of your favorite seasoning um, salt and pepper, and I've got a uh, wild game from PS Seasoning, and I want to go lightly. Just 
get enough, just get a hint of that flavor on there. And then to your taste with salt and pepper. Mix it all up and we're gonna set this aside and just let it kind of sit in that dry seasoning until we're ready to cook it towards the end of the overall process and we'll combine it with that potato soup when it's just about ready. All right, so I'm gonna take my six, no, seven pieces of bacon that we cut up uh, really finely and throw that into my cast iron pot, medium high heat for a few minutes until it's really nicely cooked. Let's get to it. Can I interest you in some of my wares? My meat? <laughs> All right, so oven is preheating. Um, the bowls are still rising. They're just nearing the end here. And uh, we're getting ready to start cooking the potato soup. So we're gonna go ahead here with our cast iron pot and take our six, no, seven, strips of bacon that we cut up really finely and just drop those in there and let them cook down until that bacon is just perfect. Check out the mud. Here we go. They're looking big. They're supposed to, well, they've been getting bigger ever since this quarantine. <laughs> oh, oh, what I happened? Ah! Uh, listen, if you have this happen, I'm gonna take one for the team here. I might sacrifice a bread bowl. I'm gonna see if I can fix this. Cause that's like our biggest one. Oh, I just squeezed all the air out of it. It's gonna have to rise again. Rise, rise, rise again. You've seen Batman. Listen, I'm not saying that I'm Batman. I'm just saying that no one has ever seen me and Batman in the same room at the same time. So this'll be our Backup plan, y'all. Regular bowl, we're gonna set this thing aside and see if we can't make the magic happen a second time. Okay, so we're gonna take some egg whites and just a splash of water and just kind of brush on the outside, all sides of each of these. The egg whites are just gonna help this kind of brown up, give it that golden brown that we want. That seventh piece of bacon may have put this thing over the top. And I got some onion in there. Bread bowls in the oven, 400 degrees, 25 to 30 minutes. We're gonna start on 25, and then we're just gonna check them and make sure that they're doing okay. Don't want them to get overdone. Here we go. <laughs> this is my halo. I'm an angel. I can't even see you. Here we go. Um, I don't have a slotted plastic spoon, so I gotta use this metal. Don't tell Afton I'm doing this to her cast iron now. We're gonna take this bacon out and just set it aside, let it drain and dry. Get out of the bacon. I should have cooked more bacon. Mm -hmm. I didn't factor in the picking at the bacon while there was still cooking going on in the kitchen. That's why they don't put resealable packaging. You should just cook the whole pack. I've got, um, I don't know, medium to large size yellow onion. We're gonna go ahead and just scrape down in this bacon grease. What do you think's gonna happen when I do this? <laughs> Is it gonna splatter all over me? A little poppy. Ah, not too bad, here we go. Let's go ahead and put all that onion in there. We're just gonna cook that for a few minutes until it starts to just brown up just so. Right when you add your onion, go ahead and add three or four, depending on how much you like butter, tablespoons of butter. Um, let that cook down. Butter's gonna melt, and as those onions kind of brown up and soften, as soon as the butter's melted, we'll add the rest of our ingredients. We're gonna go ahead and add, I'm coming back. We're gonna go ahead and add um, minced or finely chopped garlic. I've got three cloves here. Stir that in for 30 seconds to a minute. You're gonna start to smell it as soon as it starts to combine. Yep, now we smell it. So let's go ahead and add our um, six large Yukon Gold potatoes. And remember, these have been sitting in water for, I don't know, the last hour uh, plus. And look, they look just as gold and yellow as they were when we first cut them. So, definite plus to keep them in water, but now we need to drink. Okay. Just start adding what's well, gonna become the actual soup. I've got 32 ounces of chicken broth. I've got two thirds of a cup of heavy cream and two cups of whole milk. I've already mixed those together. 
Not for any good reason. I only had one Pyrex. I'm gonna add um, a third a cup of flour and it's just gonna help to thicken this up just a little bit, okay? Go ahead and stir all that in together. Would have been easier if I had done that before I added the potatoes. Pinch of pepper. Pinch of salt. All right, I have heard, though I've not tried this part before, if you add ancho chili powder, just adds a nice little, nice little flavor to it. So we're just gonna add just a dash of this stuff right on top. We'll stir all this together. Yeah, buddy. All right, we're gonna go ahead and turn this up to high heat, bring this thing to a boil, and um, we're gonna cook it on a boil for 10 or 12 minutes until your potatoes are getting really soft. All right, so boiling for 10, 12 minutes, um, we're gonna reduce the heat and let that simmer for about a half hour. All right, so oven lights burned out. We're gonna check these things. Oh, no. Well, they're not the golden brown that I was hoping for. Oh, yeah. But, We've got big bread balls, people, which I can make into bread balls, but I get a web redemption. The one over there that I was gonna remake, maybe for Sammy, uh, the dough is rising. So why don't we see if we can get that nice golden brown color out of this one as this dough starts to rise. What do you think? One more chance? Let's try it again. All right, here goes the web redemption. Put the last bread bowl in there and then an extra tray of water that's hopefully going to create some steam in there. Ideally without spilling it all over your bread bowl. What is this, amateur hour? Come on! Why don't we cut into one of these bread bowls and just see how we did. Ooh, it's actually kind of nice. It's really hot though. It's hard to so you're just going to take your knife and kind of work into this Gotta cut you a circle. It's burning my flesh. Ooh. The inside of this feels, I don't wanna to speak too soon, but it feels perfectly done. Okay, so we've got the lid out. And now we wanna just, I'm gonna let that cool. You wanna just pick out enough of this bread in here to make a really nice size bowl inside. Uh, we're in the, tail end of that 30 minute saute in that potato soup. It is looking good, it's starting to thicken up a little bit. Let's go ahead and get our venison. Um, again, third to a half pound, nicely seasoned venison cube steak. I went ahead and just cut this up into some smaller pieces, um, kind of reminiscent of, though a little bit bigger than the chunks of bacon that we're gonna put into the soup here in just a minute. Olive oil, medium to medium high heat. Let's go ahead and just add our venison there. This is not gonna take long. Remember, you are cooking venison. You don't want to overcook it. All I'm really trying to do here is just brown this meat, and I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of um, finely chopped cloves of garlic in here with this meat just to add some flavor. Stir it up. Make you slap your mama. Make sure you stir this venison constantly. These small pieces like this, and this being such a lean meat, I do not want to overcook this when it's on direct heat. So now we're just gonna go ahead and turn the heat off, remove this from the heat, set it aside just for a couple of minutes. Um, I don't want it to come all the way down to temperature or room temperature and cool off. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and let this 30 minute simmer finish off on the potato soup, go on to the next step, and then we'll add our venison. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take an immersion blender, wand blender, whatever it is, and just blend this up. Um, we want to leave some chunks in here. I just want to blend or puree a part of this soup just to make it smooth and still leave some chunks of potato down in there. So, you don't want to motorboat your kitchen. The home stretch here with this soup. We're going to add about two thirds of a cup of sour cream. Let's add all of our venison that we just cooked. three quarters of this bacon that we made and drop that down in there. I'm gonna save a few pieces just to finish off the top of those soup bowls. Stir that all in together. <laughs> now it's starting to look like soup, see? I will have a brown bread bowl. Dang it, we'll cover this thing in butter. We're gonna raise it up 
One inch, one wreck. I almost forgot a very important step. Put a handful of cheddar on here. Let that just melt and just stir it into the soup. We're gonna save a little bit extra because we're gonna put that right on top. Everybody likes cheese. Everybody like cake. Cakes have layers. Pokers have layers. All right, here we go. Let's plate a couple of these and just see how we did with this soup. What do you think? Make sure you get some of that venison in there, get some of that bacon. I'm just gonna let it go all over this plate. What do y'all think? All right. What does any of this need? Bacon. I'm loving. A little bit of bacon on top. What do you think? A little bit of bacon. A little bit of cheese. A little bit of onion. Boom! Oh, it looks so good! <laughs> I'm excited about it! Oh, that looks good. That's a better color right there. We'll cut that right out of there and all you're gonna see is golden brown all the way around. Hmm. Tell me that's not good. That is next level right there and I cannot wait to make that for everybody. I told y'all it was easy. I didn't tell you it was quick. That is absolutely fantastic and a great way. I'm looking forward to deer season already because that venison is absolutely on point in this potato soup. I hope you enjoyed this. If you enjoyed it, hit that like and subscribe button. It sure does help us out. We'll see you guys next time. God bless.